What's up guys, this is One UX One and today I'm going to talk about wannabe dreamers who want to be UX designers or UX researchers but they're just not getting there. I'm just going to be real with you, just going to tell you what my experiences are, what I've seen with apprentices and junior aspiring UX researchers and designers. So I see a lot of people that are what I'd call wannabes, I'm not saying it in a negative way but wannabes, i.e. they talk a lot, they really say they want to do this but they just can't motivate themselves to get to start learning and they're just sitting on the fence for a very long time asking is this career secure is it worthwhile which I've made videos on so don't forget to watch those on my channel and subscribe and download the free guides that will help you and they're just saying look I'm not sure if UX is right for me I'm not sure if UX is worth it all the effort to learn you know to build a portfolio go for interviews learn wireframing or UX researchers learning all the processes of UX research well if you're sitting there after quite a while then really maybe it's time to move on if you're still not sure because it cannot be clearer that UX design and research is booming everywhere it's such an amazing career it's an amazing job it's fun it's engaging it's exciting it's always different there's always a new story to work on a new feature for the website a new redesign there's always at the forefront of innovation it's exciting so if you're not getting that message then maybe I'm not making the right videos or there's something wrong with <laughs> the way you're, you're reading all of this whatever it might be guys really I'm telling you I'm guaranteeing you this is a great career um, so just download those guides that will help you and the free course so what I'm going to say to you is that if you're sitting on the fence and you're just dreaming about it take steps towards your goal make a decision to write I want to become a UX designer I want to be a UX researcher and UX researcher is not what well, if you don't like wireframing then UX research is for you if you like wireframing and sketching then UX design is for you if you like code then you need to become a developer or an engineer software engineer so really decide on what you want and then just go for it literally dig in deep fix your times make a plan which I've got a video on how to plan your career and fix yourself a routine that will help you so decide on what days you're going to study watch videos read blogs practice wireframing or practice user research testing uh, start to draft a portfolio when are you going to do that start to make a plan and decide I'm going to spend six months on this I'm going to spend a year well I'm not going to stop until I get my first job and everybody I know that does that they eventually get the job you will get there but you need to believe in yourself you need to be confident trust that this is the right career for you it's very beneficial hugely rewarding financially all of IT is and UX in particular researchers are sometimes getting more money than designers and sometimes equal but it's a great career and great pay either way so you can't go wrong the only thing you can go wrong is your mindset I, I, not having confidence to, to move forward not being motivated not being disciplined not being pushed enough by yourself you know so find people that are like-minded who want to learn find groups online and ask me questions so I can create videos so leave comments below I can create more videos for you but don't be a floater you're not floater here's people who are neither here neither there they don't know what they want in life and they just waste time they waste their lives away and then they don't get anywhere so don't be a floater be firm on what you want to do either you want this or you don't be solid on that 100% I want to go for this this is me I want to do this once you've done that once you've made that decision then there's nothing holding you back this, that's 50% of the job just being driven to do it and then just start to create your process so write down what is the UX design process and write down what you think it is because there's no wrong or right answer just take images from Google put them down and say well this is the process that I want to use because you can use your own process that's the beauty of it there's no one one way to do UX design or research so you define that you've got your process and now you're on your way you can start you can start to build up and once you start building knowledge you get more confident start believing yourself you might need to do a course like my course below and it will really help you grow you know grow as a person grow your knowledge grow your confidence and start preparing for your portfolio and then start preparing for your interview so all of that and all those videos I've created for you already so just watch my channel watch my playlist and you'll get all those answers the other thing I want to say 
is really if you're in a low paid job right now so if you're not earning a lot of money why would you not want to earn three four times more than you're earning right now is that not enough of a motivating factor because it should be I mean that's what motivated a lot of people it motivated me to earn more uh, than when I was a lecturer so when I was a lecturer I wasn't earning as much I was teaching the subject but I wasn't practicing it I was teaching the case studies but I wasn't working in it in the field in that way so what motivates you is that the money the money is great so what are you waiting for if it's the money then you've got the money here if it's just because you enjoy it or if it's both whatever it is decide on your why why do I want to do this what's driving me what's my passion and then go for it just go for it and you'll get there I'll help you get there so subscribe like and follow and that's my job my job is to help you guys get into your dream career and make it as easy as possible that's what I do I make things simple I break them down even my course is really really simple to follow it's the ultimate course but it's really broken down with my lecturing experience I've made it easy for you guys to follow so I'll see you on the next one guys thank you very much for watching 1UX1